I'm Tim Oracle, and it's finally here. I realize I'm the last person on the planet to get their Solar Busca Museum Quality Kit. So it comes in a nice, thick box, very thick, and it has this nice sort of a clamshell opening, and the back will stop once it's vertical, which is very cool. It comes with a very attractive book. And, of course, the cards. So I already unwrapped the cards to take a look at them. We'll take a look at the book in a minute. It's not what I expected at all. So let's take a look at that in just a second. All right. So I guess what makes it museum quality is the lamination because this is heavily laminated, my friends. You can see an exact replica of my window shade off this lamination. So here is the back, by the way and heavily laminated. Now mine came in the shrink damaged. It's almost like the lamination is getting a bit of a peel or something hit it or bumped it and now you have that that sort of that crack there which is interesting. I hope that doesn't happen to any other cards. I did look at the other cards and I don't have that problem. So the deck itself measures three by five and a half and these things are slick thanks to the lamination i man i mean if there's one deck i would not recommend a standard riffle shuffle it's going to be this one so plus i mean they're 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 huge uh, compared to most tarot decks so again it is five and a half by three so they're pretty large and obviously thick so they feel quality, but again, there's that over laminated feel to them, but the colors are there and we'll do a 4k flip through so you can see these. I'll do it tonight, but I just wanted to get a quick review on these uh, for shuffling. You're going to be looking at, uh, yeah, I would not riffle shuffle these. This is one deck. I would not riffle shuffle again with this much lamination. Not only is it going to be difficult just because of the size of the deck, obviously but um you know so let's compare the cards to the pretty much de facto standard in solo busca comparison let me pause the video here we go the game of saturn because on the solo busca park park peter mark adams so peter mark adams here we have panfilio or panfilio and then here we have the uh, Sola Busca Museum Kit, and I'll have that in 4K, by the way, with a 4K flip through. I'll make sure and do some of these. Looking at the details, that's pretty tight. That's pretty tight. I mean, again, we'll do a 4K flip through, but um, that's, that's very, very close. I can't see any differences, actually. Can you? I mean, pause the video and let me know. The actual, and I do art all the time, so I'm pretty good at spotting color differences, but the the blue and the blue on here, this one is slightly faded, very, very slightly faded, but the rest of the colors are dead on. This looks really, really good. So let's take a look at a couple more cards. All right, here is one more. And again, what do you think about the comparison? That is, that is tight. That is tight. I'm pretty pleased. I'm pretty pleased. I actually did not expect it to match this well with the book. And it does. And I'm extremely pleased with this. Um, so let me know what you think as far as, again, this is obviously the Ten of Cups. But let me know what you think uh, about this in comparison and the tonal values and everything else. If you can spot something, I can't. So let's look at the rest of the cards real quick and go to the book. So again, as far as lamination is concerned, they don't stick. I know in many of these heavily laminated decks, they'll stick together, but this is pretty smooth. It's a smooth spread. So let's, uh, let's do a traditional magician spread here and check it out. I don't know, a lot of times at Psychic Fairs, I'll just spread the cards so that people can just see a, an assortment of the cards. And there's how they spread. That is, that is, they don't stick. They spread nice and even, so it's going to be very easy to sort of pick out a card that you like, because I like to spread them, and then grab this particular card, and then maybe this particular card, etc. So, yeah, the, the quality is there. 
Um, I'm pleased with everything about this deck. The fact that they, well, that one's stuck, but I mean, for the most part, they don't stick, as you can see from the spread. Um, they're nice and big. And I think for my $40 that I paid for this, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy. Again, I'm worried about the lamination, but I'm not going to be obsessive about that, even though I am an obsessive kind of guy. So let's take a look at the book real quick, like I promised. So when I said I was disappointed with the book, so here is the book. Uh, looks great. It looks very nice. And I was expecting to open this up. Uh, 127 pages, obviously multiple languages in here. I was expecting to open this up and have a system for reading the Solobuska, which, I mean, we're so desperate to to get, and we really don't we really don't have it, right? So, number one, so I just opened the book. This is the first time I'm opening the book like this, and you can already see that it's sort of peeling. So it's the, the binding is stapled, but the binding is, is odd where it's just not there. Anyway, um, let's take a look here. So it goes into the trumps, and here you go. So we have the, the trump zero, the fool, trump one, trump two, etc. So it gives a bit of a history in here. And then, instead of going into the details about the other cards, by the way, it goes into meanings and interpretations. And... The meanings and interpretations are a direct copy onto the Rider Waite. So we have the Magician, the High Priest is the Empress, uh, the Hierophant, the Lover is the Chariot. I really, really thought that they were not going to do this. I did think that they were not going to do this and give us something a bit more deep. And I'm coming up with my own system, that, or I'm showing you my own system for this. But, uh, and then... As far as the, the suits, we have the batons, the cups, the chalices, the coins, the pinnacles, the swords, and you have a generic suit. And then we have the court figures, which is going to be the, the knave, knight, queen, king. And then you have the numbers. So they went sort of a TDM route here. Man, I really was hoping for something deeper. I was hoping for something deeper. I was. And then it goes in, obviously, into different languages. But, I mean, it's nice to have a book. And I guess instead of a little white book, it's a big white book. So, the notes. So, with the Divine Comedy, etc., etc. I guess I was hoping for something more. I was hoping for a system where we could read this. So, I'll present mine and see what you think. Uh, if you like it, if you don't, whatever. But it seems there's still no defined system for reading this, which is unfortunate. So, But if you do want to do a standard right away direct translation into these, sure, that would be fine. But overall, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. I have to admit, I'm pleased. I did not think I was going to be this pleased. And if you've had the previous iteration of the Solo Busca with the cards that were peeling and all that, then, um, you know, you, you'll understand. You'll be pleased with this. I think... 40 bucks was a good price point for this, and I'll probably grab another copy just for collecting because I do want to actually read with this one. So that is just my sort of first look at this. You know I was e extremely excited to get this, and I was really excited to get the book or to get some information out of the book uh, to help read. But you know this doesn't translate directly uh, into this. and I mean, you can tell that by the... The, the seller on Etsy that actually sells a modified Solobuska that's more in line with the Rider Waite. So, you know, watch for my system maybe next week or the week after. And I'm going to start making videos if you'd like to read with these. This is a good reading deck. I think 40 bucks for the museum quality, the, the nice box, uh, is a good price point for these, especially for reading. And um, if you like my system, please, if you want to see my system, please watch the videos coming up. And I'll teach you how to read with these where you don't have to memorize this means this and this means that. You know, you don't have to translate this back to uh, the right or way. So anyway, but if you want to do that, then if you want to do the TDM style, then the book has you covered. It's up to you. Everybody has their own reading style. Just my opinions. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I'm so thrilled. You have no idea how fast I opened this when I got this. I was so excited. 
So keep uh, keep a lookout for the 4K flip through, and thank you, thank you for watching.